أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم So welcome to the video Today we are doing تدبر of the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى which is خير الرازقين The best of the razakin, the best of the providers So let's get started أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال إيسا ابن مريم اللهم ربنا أنزل علينا ما إذا تن من السماء تاكن لنا إذا 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 الأولين وآخرين وآيات منك وأرزقنا وأنت خير الرا خير الرازقين said Jesus the son of Mary O Allah our Lord send down to us a table spread with food from the heavens to be for us a festival for the first of us and the last of us and a sign from you and provide for us and you are the best of providers so this is a miracle of isa al islam and isa al islam is making a dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in response to it a miracle will happen right the 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 people the what's it called, the companions of Isa al-Islam, the Havariyun, uh, have asked for a miracle from Isa al-Islam. And Isa al-Islam has uh, accepted to do the miracle and he's making dua so that in response to it, the miracle will happen. And so, Qala Isa, says Isa, ibn, the son of Mary, Allahum, O oh Allah, Rabbana, our Lord, Anzil, send down alayna and this is the same word used for wahi so send down so when allah sends down something directly from himself this is another to send down is kind of like a metaphor for metaphysical causation when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes a miracle to happen or sends down revelation there's something that enters into the physical world right there's something that's entering into the physical world from the from uh, alam -e amar uh, from the Amar of Allah, from the metaphysical causation, there's something entering into the dunya. So, Rasul, this, this, look at the, we have to understand the dua very, very uh, uh, precisely. Allahum, O Allah, Rabbana, our Lord, Anzil, send down alayna to us or upon us, ma'ida tan, a table spread, min ussama'i, uh, from the heaven, taqunu, and again, this, min ussama'i, the sama'i, is not really like skies, right? It's heavens. So all the samat uh, dunya is is adorned with stars. So the whole universe that is full of stars is the first heaven, and the second heaven is the first level of abstraction of subtlety that is um, above and beyond. And it isn't something from the physical empirical world. It's the, the angelic realm begins at the second heaven, and. So when he says my minus sama from the heaven meaning is sent down and when when something appears high up in the sky and comes down it's actually when there's a point where it appears in the universe and it's high because the highness is away from the earth and there's a sense that the heavens are away from the earth and so it appearing high uh, there's a point where it appears in the physical universe and actually descends down but that that is like a metaphor for the descent from like the seventh heaven to the sixth to the fifth for the fourth which isn't a locational descent but is like a descent from the most subtle uh you know to to the most gross and and empirically observable from the heaven takunu uh, to be lana uh, for us idan a festival li Eden, so Eid to be for us an Eid, you know, a day of Eid, a festival, a day of celebration. Li awlina for the li awwalina for the first of us wa akhirina and the last of us wa ayatan and a sign minqa from you. Wa urzukna and provide us uh, or sustain us with wa anta and you. Khairu uh, Razikin, Khairu Razikin. So this is the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that we're interested in, uh, in 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 this video, and it's Khairu Razikin, and Allah and Anta Khairu Razikin. So look at the context in which Isa Al Islam is asking or calling upon Allah with this name, right? 
so because this name is the pro because we know Isa al Islam is Ali Salam and he's he's one of the highest messengers and so when he is speaking and he's using a particular name of Allah for a particular type of thing, uh, it it shows us the power of that name or the what type of thing we can ask from Allah with this name, right? And so it is showing us that when we ask for a miracle for some type of providence or sustenance to descend upon us uh, that is directly from Allah and it's kind of uh, the word is a little extra right so the the, the Havadi Yun are asking for a fe feast to descend from the heavens so it's not like you know they could ask for maybe some money so they could have a feast or something you know but they're asking for a feast to descend from the heavens right so they want a feast a cell you know a table that's spread and so Isa al Islam is this is what he's making dua for right and, and so he's asking for a miracle but he's also asking for a miracle that's a little uh it, it, the purpose of it is kind of like extra it is per like um it's not like they need a feast from the heavens they could ask for something smaller maybe for like a goat to appear out of nowhere or something so they could slaughter the goat and eat it but they want a fully prepared table to descend from the heavens so it's it's, it's something extra and he's asking uh, and it's supposed to come from the heavens. So the origins is La Dunka. It is from Allah. And it is Allah sending His Rahmah down. And so for that type of thing, when we want Allah to provide for us directly, and what we're asking for isn't exactly a necessity, it, it is more like an extra, it's a luxury. Um, that is where Allah says, وَأَنْتَ خَيْرُ الْرَازِكِينَ He is the best of providers. Because if you're the best of providing, you're not just providing basic necessities, you're providing like the full kind of set of desires or the full kind of uh full set yeah the full set of desires that someone could want you're the best provider when you can provide not only the necessities but for the desires of someone so Allah, when you ask for something not only that you need but that you just want you don't need it but you want it and you want it directly from Allah غَيْرُ uh, hisab. that is when you ask خَيْرُ razikin. um uh, when you call upon Allah with the name Khairul Razikin. Now let's look at the next ayah. وَأُلَّذِينَ حَاجَرُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ قُتِلُوا أَوْ مَاتُوا لِيَرْزُقَنَاهُمُ اللَّهُ رِزْقًا حَسَنًا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَهُمْ خَيْرُ الْرَازِكِينَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم And those who immigrated for the cause of Allah and were killed or died, Allah will surely provide for them a good provision. Indeed, it is Allah who is the best of providers. So, وَأُلَّذِينَ And those حَاجَرُوا حَاجَرُوا um, uh, made hijra or immigrated fi sabilillah in the way of Allah thumma qutilu then uh, were killed aw matu qutilu uh, were killed or matu liyar or died la yarzuqannahum Allah will provide for them Allah uh, risk risk on a sustenance Allah will sustain them with a sustenance, hasanan, that is beautiful. Wa inna Allah or good. Wa and indeed Allah is lahum uh, khairu razikin. Indeed Allah is uh, khairu razikin. Again, we see the same name khairu razikin. So let's see in the context in which Allah is being named as khairu razikin. So those who make hijra fi sabilillah who make hijra fi sabilillah and are killed so this is specifically talking about medina of course right but generally speaking when we make hijra we go away from a place we're living in a place that's home to us and we go to a new place that is more fully home because of our iman so when we do that allah says hajuruhu fi sabilillah whoever makes hijra in this uh, in the path of allah thumma qutilu and then is killed or dies Allah will provide for them riskan a risk a great risk hasana that is beautiful wa inna Allah and indeed Allah has lahum khairul razikin and indeed Allah is khairul razikin he is the best of providers right so here Allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about providing for someone after they have died right Allah is talking about providing sustenance for someone after they have died and after they've died in a specific instance after they have made hijrah 
for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will provide them with a beautiful risk. And so Allah is saying, I am khayrul razikin in that context. Um, I want to move on to the next ayah and we may get come back to this one inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Am tas'aluhum kharjan fa kharaju rabbika khayrun wa huwa khayrul razikin. Or do you, O Muhammad, ask them for payment, but the reward of your Lord is best, and He is the best of providers. Or do you, O Muhammad, ask them for payment, but the reward of your Lord is best, and He is the best of providers. Am tas'aluhum, or do you ask kharajan uh, uh, for, for, for a payment, fa kharaju, but the payment, the rabbika of your Lord, khayrun is the best. Huwa khayrun ul razikin. So obviously here Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is making da'wah full time to, to his job. is He's the slave of Allah. He's the abd of Allah. And so this is one of the economic aspects of being an abd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That when we, we believe that as the abd of Allah, Allah has taken responsibility for providing for us. Just like if a human being has a ghulam or, you know, uh, abd or, uh, you know, amma and and he has responsibility for providing for his slave and if he doesn't is a moral failing in the same way we're all the abd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when we are engaged in the work of Allah when we're doing ikamatu deen then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for him for us and we can also take a lower level where we're engaged in economic effort for ourselves and Allah will provide for us through that way too but but if we are truly abids of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will provide for us even if we're just doing His work. Am tas'alu. And so do you ask kharajan for a reward? Fakharaju rabbika when when the reward of your Lord or the payment of your Lord is the best. Wahul khayrul razikin. So when you're engaged in calling to tawheed full time like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when you're engaged for ikamut to deen full time like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when you're indeed engaged in learning and teaching Quran full time, like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then Allah you don't need the people who are you're calling to Tawheed or you're teaching the Quran or you're leading in Iqamuti you don't need those people to give you risk right Allah will give you risk and sometimes it can come through those people sometimes it'll come through other ways but what Allah is saying is that you if you give yourself you know to to my cause like you you fully uh imitate the nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the way he lived life of fully giving himself to uh, to the ikamut din process and you fully give yourself to it then you're not asking the people you're calling for risk allah will provide you with your risk wal khairul razikin and allah is khairul razikin okay so a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillah arrahman rahim qul inna rabbi يَبْسُطُ الرِّسْكَ لَا مِنَا لَا مَنْ يَشَاءُ مِنْ إِبَادِهِ وَيَكْتِرُ لَهُ مَنْ أَنْفَفْتُ مِنْ شَيْئًا فَهُمْ يُخْلِفُهُ وَهُ خَيْرُ الرَّازِكِينَ Say, indeed, my Lord extends provision for whom he wills of his servants and restrictions for him, but whatever things you spend in his cause, he will compensate it, and he is the best of providers. قُلْ إِنَّا Say, إِنَّا indeed, Rabbi, my Lord, Yep, uh, yep, sutu extends or riska the risk of uh, the sustenance la mina la man yasha for whom he wills min ibadihi of his servants wa yak diru and restricts lahu for him wa ma an an faktum wa ma an but what you spend spent min shay'an whatever you spend in infaq uh, of anything fahum then he Yukhlifuhu will compensate it. Wa khayrul razikin and he is the best of providers. Khayrul razikin. So in this context, Allah is giving his identity as he often does. He says, Qul inna indeed Rabbi Yapsutu, your Rabb is the one who restricts uh, the the uh, you know um uh, he's the one who extends the risk of someone. He increases the risk of someone. And he is the one who limits it. So he's giving his identity as that. And then he's saying, but whatever you do in Faq, of in anything that you uh, spend in in Faq for his cause, 
uh, he will return it he will compensate it and he is the best of providers so again this this idea that you know Allah is the one who controls the amount of risk we have both the limitation of it and the extent of it he he's the one who controls it and he is the one who if we spend it in his cause will compensate it and in this he is the best of providers so it, it's this idea of relying upon Allah as the best of providers and not looking uh, for any other means of sustenance other than relying upon Allah to provide the sustenance.